Hi guys! So I'm taking you with me to at home today. We are Halloween decor hunting and at home is the first store I have seen this year with Halloween decor. So I just was so excited to see this finally. It is kind of early in the season but I absolutely love Halloween so I had to bring you along with me. So they're definitely still setting up but I'm hoping by this weekend they should have a lot more stuff out. But I came here specifically for one thing and I will show you that at the end of the video. But so far they kind of just had a lot of candles set up, some drinkware. They had these. I have seen pictures of these mugs all over the internet lately. People are going crazy for them. So this is the witch variety one. You get all four of them for $11.99 which is a pretty good deal. And they also had the skeleton guy, so he was the last one they had. I did not come here for him, but once I saw him, I knew I had to have him, so this one did come home with me. I really wasn't trying to do too much shopping today, but I couldn't leave him behind. And they also had a lot of these kind of Halloween Christmas decorations. I mean, they're not Christmas, they're Halloween, but you know what I mean. If you have kind of like a Christmas tree that you decorate for Halloween, those uh, ornaments are perfect for that. They also had some gnomes and some really pretty wreaths. I tried to get some prices for you guys on some items when I remember. I'm not the best with that. Um, they had some really cute pumpkins. This one was only $15. I thought that was pretty cool. They also had these really beautiful spiders. So they're very sparkly, a little bit expensive. They had the smaller one for $20 and then they had a larger one. I did not get the price on that one, but he's probably a little bit more. And then they had this really beautiful welcome sign. I love that and you can kind of see there they're definitely going to be getting some more signs in very soon you can definitely see there are some bare areas but I'm sure that they will be filling them in shortly they also had these cool hanging goes that kind of give me like a vintage Halloween vibe from like back in the day this aisle definitely looked like it was set up for more of a witch theme so it is a bit sparse but they did have some really fun stuff so far I particularly liked this black cat I did not pick him up but he was kind of on my wish list and this plant i don't know what it is but i fell in love with this plant i had it in my hand for most of the time but i did put it back now i'm kind of regretting it so i might have to make another trip back to at home but they just had a lot of different like witch items out here kind of all in this gray and black color palette guys i am sorry i am doing this voiceover in a thunderstorm right now it's kind of perfect for this type of video but if you can hear that in the background that is what that is there is a lot of thunder and lightning and rain outside they also had a lot of pumpkins so these black velvet ones this one was pretty unique looking it's a little glass blown one with a glass witch hat on top i thought that was pretty unique i haven't seen one like that before so that was pretty cool looking a lot of skulls this year obviously they still have to kind of fill in those other areas but lots of different they had gothic skulls they had even some more kind of spooky ones and glam ones there's one coming up really soon that was really pretty it had pearls all over it it was very fun and then i thought that this little galvanized pumpkin was so cute perfect for a farmhouse halloween and it had a really nice color to it i like the really bright orange that the faux candle gives off inside so that was really fun i really did love that one and i think these are some more of the skulls coming up they also had really cool mats and i might have to go back and pick one up for my outside i don't think i have one from last year i do believe i had to throw it away it was pretty tattered but they had the average size mat for $12.99 a bunch of different patterns this was one of my favorites and then they had the oversized mat i believe that one was $24.99 here is some more of those fun skulls, a random light up tree, candle tree. <laughs> this one was pretty cool with the gems in the eyes. This was the one I was talking about earlier with the pearls. Love it. Very glam, very cool. And I, mm, I don't know. I'm on the fence. I can't buy everything. I was thinking that this might be on my wish list. We will see. This is definitely on my wish list though. This was so cool totally different have not seen something like this before very fun a little bit spooky it's giving me beetlejuice vibes i think because of the miniature set in beetlejuice but 
absolutely loved that one. Here's another aisle that they were still working on. This one had a bit of outdoor decor, so this awesome spider. They had some Nightmare Before Christmas blow up figures. They also had this really cute block set. I thought that this was fun for someone who likes to decorate kind of more cutesy, not too spooky. It says eek on one side, and then if you flip the blocks over, it actually says boo. So I'm doing my best here to model it for you without dropping it, but I thought that was really fun. These little lanterns are really cute. They don't have a light in them, but you could of course just put a faux candle and they're pretty inexpensive. I believe they were $3.99 each. This little house setup with some spooky character was really cute, but I thought it was kind of expensive for $20. I love the idea of it, but the quality did not really seem like it was worth $20, so I did have to pass on that. They had some really fun topiaries. This is another light up tree for only $12.99. I thought that was not too bad. I also fell in love with this big oversized pumpkin. So these do have lights inside. I think this guy was around $30. So on the pricier side, but it is nice and big. And then one of the last things I checked out were these really cool glasses. They had some skeleton ones and they had this decanter set, which comes with the large decanter plus the glasses for only $10. I thought that that one was a steal. And here we are back at my house. These are the two items that I did come home with today. Like I said, the skeleton was a little bit of an impulse purchase. <laughs> I just did not want to leave him there. He was the last one. He was too cute, had to come home with me. And the other mugs are the thing that I went there specifically for. These were the ones that I had seen online and at home does not let you purchase the items and ship them to your home. But if you have a local at home, you can usually reserve the item on their website and pick it up. So that's what I had done with the spooky characters, these uh, the Frankenstein and the ghost. And they had none left when I got to the store. This was the last one and I don't even know if it's available right now to reserve online. I will look if I can find the link. I will absolutely leave it down below for you guys, but I'm not sure if you can. I'm hoping they get more of these in stock. I have seen people posting these online too. They're kind of selling like hotcakes. If you can find it and you want it, definitely pick it up when you see it because I'm not sure how long these will stay on the shelves. It's a really good purchase. I think the price is awesome and they are just so cute. I absolutely love them. But you let me know down below in the comments which one is your favorite. They are totally different vibes. Obviously, the skeleton is so much more kind of spooky and I would say kind of like more mature. Definitely more of like an adult Halloween vibe where the spooky characters are just really fun and cute and not scary at all. I'm not sure which one is my favorite. It's probably gotta be these guys. I mean, I love Frankenstein. Look at that face, so cute. How could you pass that up? But my style is definitely in between these two. I love a spooky, but I also love a cute Halloween. Thank you guys so much for coming shopping with me today. I will definitely be in the stores all summer long looking for the best Halloween items and make sure to subscribe by clicking my picture right here so you will not miss out on a new video.